you know, I almost, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this show up or not because I don't want to seem like I'm trying to, trying to take advantage of a situation. I'll read to you some of the facts of this situation. There's a man named George Sodini, and he allegedly entered, or he actually entered a Pennsylvania health club Tuesday night and murdered three women in cold blood. Uh, he shot a whole bunch of people, basically. Uh, then he turned the gun on himself. And I have some things that I have to, I would like to say about that. And looking over his uh, blog, and looking at some of the video where they posted some of his quotes, uh, he was 48 years of age. And before I begin this, uh, my heart does go out to the families of those who were injured and who also were who were also slain. Man, fuck. This is some fucking bullshit. But anyway, this guy, 48 years of age, 55, uh, 48 years of age, 155 pounds. He's a computer programmer, so he's got that left brain mentality that's dominant within this community. A lot of guys are nerds. But he's also, he was also, I saw his photograph, he was a nice looking man. You know, this guy could have gotten women. But here are some of his quotes. Because he spent his, apparently spent his entire life being alone in search of a girlfriend. And he writes, who knows why I am not, why I am not ugly or too weird. And he also writes on his blog, flying solo for many years is a destroyer. There was a, a kid, an Asian kid, many years ago at, at the Virginia Tech, I believe it was, who did something very similar. And if he could have talked to somebody before he did all this shit. He, this guy also writes, my anger and rage is largely gone since I began lifting weights. So he was doing a positive thing, like I tell you guys, get to the gym. Get to the gym out there because the gym, you know, helps relieve a lot of stress. And it also increases your testosterone. It, it relieves a lot of the issues that you got going on in your head. It, it releases endorphins. This guy also wrote, it is difficult to live almost continuously feeling an undercurrent of fear, worry, discontentment, and helplessness. If any of you guys feel this way, please contact me. Just send me a message over YouTube or uh, send me a message at my site, zenmac.com. Just, just contact me. I am really not sure if I am going to upload this because um, I know there's going to be a lot of internet marketers taking advantage of this. You know, I tried to Google some information. They already jumped on the shit. But uh, he, the guy also wrote, uh, the biggest problem of all is not having relationships or friends, or is not having relationships or friends, but not being able to achieve and acquire what I desire in those or many other areas if I had control over my life, I would be much happier. This guy, this guy is, is, end up being a total fucking loser. Instead of working on himself or reaching out for help, because nowadays there are dating consultants out there. There are a lot of, even if he did the PUA game, he at least got something. Even with the pickup artist stuff. But he couldn't take any more rejection, I guess. And... He just retreated within himself. If any of you guys feel that way, this is not the answer. This is a loser's answer. This is a coward's answer. It's an insult to every man who's sought to better himself since the beginning of time of men. And we as men, we've, we've grown better each generation. We're a little better than the generation before. And this motherfucker gave the fuck up and decided to hurt other people in the process? If you guys ever 
feel like that, just send me an email. Please. This is not the path. This path is final. There is no coming back from it. There is no improving from this. There is no getting better. Or this guy, if he had to talk to me, I would have taught the guy how to fucking meet some fucking women. Jesus fucking Christ. I taught fucking aerobics. Motherfucker. Fucking asshole. I taught aerobics for over 20 fucking years. And a motherfucker go into aerobics class and shoot a bunch of helpless fucking women? Just because he couldn't fucking get over his shit? You know what? Fuck that shit. One thing this puke did was... He shot a fucking pregnant woman. A teacher. She was pregnant. How in the fuck do you shoot a pregnant woman? How low do you gotta fucking sink? I'm like, what the fuck? She was pregnant! Okay. I've stopped my truck. Taking up my seatbelt, I pulled off to the side of the road. I'm a little bit calmer now. Now, one thing that disturbs me about this situation is I used to be like that guy when I was in high school. I was alone. I didn't have any girl, I didn't have a girlfriend. <coughs> Excuse me. I was super shy. I'd got that whole, because I lived in Japan, that whole Japanese programming of a guy supposed to be shy and bashful and grab the back of your head and around women and then kick the cans on them or shuffle the ground and stuff. That was me. I know what it likes to be like that. That's why I got so upset. Because I crawled out of that darkness. My self-esteem was that much. And it was all just because I was super introverted and super shy. I didn't know how to, to I didn't know how to to take care of the problem of meeting girls. That's why I bought the first book on the market, How to Pick Up Girls by Eric Weber. And I also bought what was called back then it's called a phonograph. You guys are too young for that, but a phonograph is a record that's like a big gigantic C D that you put on the device and has a needle that go and the thing turns around and it plays sound out of it. <laughs> so I even bought his, his phonograph back then. This is in my high school year. And I recall sending it off for this stuff and waiting like almost six fucking months. It seemed like six months of hell for the first book to come. And the book came and all it said was, just go up and talk to girls. You know, I'm thinking I saved up my allowance, my money, and that's all they're going to tell me? So I went and asked my dad, you know, Dad, how do you meet girls? And he said, just go up and talk to them. Do you know it took me many, many years after that to finally let that shit finally sink in? That really was the truth? That meeting girls is really just about communication. You know, how you talk to girls and, and being able to talk to them. Not be nervous and fucked up in your head. And I know this Sodoni motherfucker was all jacked up in his brains. He couldn't talk to girls. He probably came out like a total goob. Like a total fucking dweezil. And... You know, for such a nice-looking guy, because, as I said, I saw the motherfucker's photograph. You know, he looked like a nice-looking guy. I'm not no faggot or shit like that, you know. I don't, I don't crush on dudes. But, you know, he looked like a type of dude that white chicks would like. Slim, he had the graying hair, you know. He, uh, you know, Italian, Sicilian guys or Southern Italian guys, they tend to be, like, kind of be like um, uh, Greco-Roman statue-type people. You know, they look like those statues. He looked like that. So... I'm thinking, you know, fuck, man. This shit has got to end with these motherfuckers going crazy. <laughs>